And for more on Greece, I'm joined by Nicholas Economides. He's an economics professor at New York University's Stern School of Business. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, you know, the Eurogroup drew a line in the stand, so to speak, basically telling Greece, take it or leave it. And earlier, the Greek uh, finance minister said that he was optimistic that they all could get to common ground. So what do you think it'll take to get there? Well, uh, both the two sides are far apart. Uh, and uh, you just heard uh, one of the economics team of the new Greek government uh, talk in purely political terms. Uh, there is nothing in a concrete proposal that the Greek government has put forward. Uh, and right now, uh, the only proposal is what the European ministers say, which is essentially an ultimatum to Greece, take it or leave it. Uh, Greece is in a very bad shape. Uh, and it's really amazing that this government, in its three weeks of in power, managed to bring back Greece to a, a situation that might even result in bankruptcy again and in Grexit. Uh, this is really a disaster for Greece. People have to get their act together and make a proposal that will make a sustainable program for Greece. And the fact that some people had their wages cut and so on and so on was absolutely necessary. This was the only way to get out of the crisis. Now we need more growth. Uh, we need to be able to put some money aside and grow the economy. But I'm afraid that if we do put some money aside, the present government is going to just spend it on their political friends and the w workers in the country in general rather than invest it. We need an investment program, and we need a privatization program, and we need Greece to be open to foreign investors, including Chinese investors, uh, we, to be able to, to grow. So, Nicholas, what would an extension mean working within the current program? Do you think Greece will leave the euro, or do you think it will be forced out? It won't have any choice but to do so. I don't think there's much choice. Greece is going to run out of money in March. Uh, I don't see how any government would like to be in power the, the day that it doesn't have enough money to pay workers. Uh, I don't see an alternative. But still, the delay that has been created by the Greek government saying we need more time, we don't have a plan, we, we, this and that, uh, really is unacceptable. Things have to be done, and things have to be done in the next two weeks, before the end of, um, of February. Uh, instead of thinking of long-term programs like how to, to cut the Greek debt or the payments on the Greek debt, the Greek government has to focus on how it's going to have enough money to survive the next few months. But, and, the, ci uh, but the, citizens, yeah, the citizens of Greece overwhelmingly support its new government. Do you think this new government made campaign promises that it can't keep? And what happens if it can't? What are the repercussions at home? Well, the government made all kinds of promises it cannot keep. But like any government that gets elected, uh, I think it's very important to make a U-turn now, or a U-turn in many times, to be able to deal with reality. It's one thing to say how great things are going to be before you get elected. But once you get elected, you have to realize that now you have to act responsibly, and the whole future of the country uh, depends on you, depends on what you do in the next few days. So I urge the Greek government to take it seriously, to come down with a, with a plan that works and make a compromise uh, with the European Union rather than play this chicken game, two cars uh, in, in opposite directions uh, trying to hit each other. That is really not going to help Greece at all. Which is interesting because Greece's finance minister also said that he is not playing games. And, you know, he brought up the fact that he was willing to sign something, wanted to sign something today. Um, he also mentioned that Europe needs to cut its losses with a program that he says is, that it is not working and that nothing could come out of ultimatum. So what do you make of those statements? Well, the program was working very well. In fact, if by, by the middle of 2014, Greece was able to go to the financial markets and borrow at 3.5%. And Greece was in bankruptcy in 2012. So it's a huge success that Greece had accomplished by 2014. But the political upheaval and the prospect of the present government getting elected really delay, derailed the program. And among other things, it also derailed uh, the, the taxation, the re taxation revenue. A lot of people didn't pay taxes because of the promises uh, of Syriza, which is the present government, before it got elected, the promises that they don't have to pay the taxes. So right now, the Syriza government gets elected and realizes that they miss billions in terms of taxation revenue because their own, their own followers uh, 
uh, did not pay taxes. That's a disaster for Greece. Greece needs to grow, needs to have a balanced budget, needs to be able to reduce unemployment. And it was doing very well in the middle of 2014. And suddenly, within a few months, and now with this government in three weeks, we are facing disaster again. Uh, that's, that's a real problem. And we have to appeal to the Europeans to save us once more, like they saved us since 2010. That'll be a 180 degree turn. Yes or no, can Greece survive on its own? Well, Greece will not be able to survive on its own. If it gets out of the European Union or if it gets out of the Eurozone and goes to a new currency, that will be uh, a total disaster for Greece. There will be a lot of inflation. People are going to feel very poor. The banks are going to collapse. You are talking about a situation like that of Venezuela. You know, you are talking about a really, really bad situation. I hope we don't get to that. And even if Greece goes bankrupt, it goes bankrupt within the euro and does not leave the euro. All right. Nicholas Economides, NYU, thank you so much for joining us.